Hello and welcome to another oil painting tutorial. Today I'll be showing you the process for this wild seascape. I had so much fun creating this piece and I hope you enjoy watching. If you'd like to follow along with me as I paint, I'll put all the colors I'm using in the description. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'm starting off here just getting a good base color for the sky. This is just Bethala blue and white together. And now I've got some gray here for the beginning of the clouds. And for the placement of these clouds, I'm not overthinking things too much. I'm just kind of going with the flow here, seeing what feels right. I love painting clouds, and I find the best way to paint them for me is to use my fingers. But if you're using your fingers to blend, make sure you're using non-toxic oil paints like I am. I'm just getting these shadows really blended in here and then I'll add in highlights on top of them. I ended up kind of blending a lot of those clouds I just did into the background. I was still kind of figuring out the shape I wanted, and now I'm going to build up these highlights and shadows again for the clouds. That's the thing about not planning it out beforehand. A lot of times I'll have to restart or rethink what I'm doing, but it's all part of the process. And I love just flowing freely when I paint clouds and just letting them guide me.
So I've got these clouds almost finished now. Sometimes it's hard to stop when I'm painting clouds because I feel I could just keep on blending them. I decided to go ahead and get the water started for the seascape. I wanted really rough waters here. My idea for this piece is for you to feel the spirit of adventure when you look at it, and for you to almost feel the wind coming off of the water. To make the color for the water, it's pithalo blue mixed with a little bit of cadmium yellow and a touch of black, and of course white mixed in for the highlights. I'm now going to finish up the clouds. I decided I wanted the light to come from the left a little bit, so I'm adding some shadows on the right here. I think adding in these shadows really helps establish a three-dimensional look to the clouds. And here I'll add in some highlights as well.
And now the clouds are finished, and it's time to bring these waves to life. I'm beginning to add some sea foam now. The foam is what's going to establish the movement of these waves as you're seeing them from a little bit farther away. And I just love adding the sea foam. I feel it really brings the seascape to life. Sometimes I plan a seascape out beforehand, but for this one I really wanted to make the water just feel free. So I just decided to let it take me where it wanted to go. A lot of times this leads to a lot of trial and error, but I love the process. I almost feel as if I'm floating on these waves when I do it this way.
I've got the water almost finished now. I really love adding all the tiny little details. And here I thought I'd add a tall mast ship raving the waters. I feel that the ship really adds a spirit of adventure to this piece. For the color of the ship, I'm using some Van Dyke brown mixed with a little bit of yellow and some black as well. And then the sails are white with a little bit of yellow added and then some black for the shadows. I put the yellow in the sails to make them stand out a little bit from those clouds behind them.
and this painting is just about finished. I want to thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. It's always an adventure finding something new we can create together. And I hope you join me again soon.